What is up, everybody? It's CJ Place here, and I'm back with another Sims 3 World Overview, and today, we're looking at Mayfield Springs. This world has been highly requested from y'all. CJ, can you please look at this world? Can you please check it out? I am just now getting around to it, y'all. I apologize, but sometimes it just be like that, okay? <laughs> now, this world uses every single expansion pack. This world is also populated. It doesn't use custom content, stuff packs, or store content, or anything like that, just the expansion packs. So, why don't we go ahead and check it out? So why don't we go ahead and start down here? This is the St. Marie Central Park, and then I guess we'll work our way around. So let's start down here first. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the Central Park. There is a lot of stuff going on right now. It is like the summer festival, so that kind of makes sense. But anyway, down here, you have some concession stands. You have a little playground area over here. Over here by the fountain, you have some chess tables. There's a snow cone machine going over this way. You have the hot dog eating stand over here. You have the water balloon fight object. And then over here, you have those photo tents. And over here in this little area, you have some face painting tents. And then you also have some picnic tables and some grills and stuff like that. But yeah, this is like a really nice park though. So why don't we go down here next? And I guess we'll work our way around this way. So why don't we go over here to the groovy goose? So this is a bar. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're down here at the Groovy Goose. Why don't we go ahead and open it up real quick? Over here by the door, you have some arcade cabinets. You have your bar. You have your dartboard. And then back here, you just have some bathrooms. And when you go back this way, you have your DJ booth. There is also an arcade game. You have a pool table, plenty of places to sit down. And let me go ahead and scroll up because there is an elevator, so... When you go upstairs, you have a karaoke machine. You have a little place where you can come and sit down. And then you have like a little VIP access that kind of leads to the rooftop. So out here, you have some effect lights. You also have some places to sit down. And then there's also a couple of instruments and a chess table out here as well. And there's just a dumpster in the back of the lot. But this is like a really nice bar though. Okay, so why don't we go next to it? So this is the Mayville Springs House of Art. So why don't we go ahead and check this out real quick? This looks super fancy. Why don't we go ahead and open it up? Okay, so when you come in, you have like a little statue here in the middle. You have your bathrooms over here in the back. And then over here in this room, you have a little place to sit. You have some artwork on the walls and like a sculpture over here. Let me bring the walls up so I can make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, there is like another piece of art over here as well. And let me go over here to this room. So over here, you have like another place to sit. There's also like another statue, some art on the walls over here and over there. And now let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. So when you go upstairs, I guess we can start over here in this room. So up here, let me bring the walls down for a second. <laughs> so over here, you have some Egyptian objects and artifacts and stuff like that. Going back over this way, you have some art easels in the middle. So I guess you can make your own art here if you want to. And then over here, you have some objects from China. So this is like a really nice lot though, y'all. Like I'm really liking it. Now, let me go ahead and scroll up again. So there is like a little door that leads out to the balcony. So there is like a balcony on this lot. And then there's also like a statue over here as well. But that's pretty much it for this lot. So now let's go next door to the Dahlia Library. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But let's check it out. So we're down here at this library. It just has some umbrella tables out in the front. And why don't we go ahead and open up the lot real quick? So on the inside, we have some bathrooms over here in the corner. Going over this way, we have some computer desk. You have a little place to sit. Plenty of bookshelves in here as well. So now let's go ahead and go back this way. Why don't we go over here next to the public swim and splash pool? Y'all, this is really cool. I like how they have the palm tree kind of growing through the building. That is a nice touch. I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, y'all, we're down here at the pool. There is, of course, the pool. You have some tables. There's a bar over here. Um, there's also some places to lounge back here. You have a diving board. Your pool slide is out here as well. And let's try to open up this building to see what's on the inside. So on the inside, you just have two chess tables and that's pretty much it from what I can tell. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this lot. It's a nice pool though. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the Richards Elixirs and Potions. So let's check it out. Okay, y'all, so we're down here at this little alchemy shop and it looks so nice and cozy on the outside. And I guess we could start over here. So over here, you have a place to sit by the fireplace. There's a TV, llama teleporter box. There is also a fridge and a coffee machine. So I guess you can come here and get some food if you want to. Okay, period. <laughs> Going over this way, you have the register. There is also a chess table. And then in the back of the lot, you have a foosball table and the little magical mirror. And you just have a bathroom. And I think that's pretty much it for the lot. Let me scroll upstairs. There's nothing here. And then out in the back of the lot, 
you have your alchemy station. There is also a gem cutting machine. And then going on this way, you have a trampoline. There is also some harvestables that are growing out here in the back. So you can definitely use those for elixirs if you need to. And there's also some hitching post over here as well. Oh, y'all look at this little parking lot. Like that's nice. Where is it by? Oh, it's by the supermarket. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, anyway. So now we're gonna go ahead and go over here and we're gonna check out the Dean's Doggy Drop Zones. All right, y'all. So we're down here at this little dog park and it's so nice. You have some pet houses out here. There's also some food bowls going over this way you have some places to sit down there's also a foosball table out here as well there's also some hitching posts too and you also have a little pet ball and a pet toy box so this is like a really nice dog park though okay y'all so now we're gonna go ahead and keep moving on let's go over here and we're gonna check out the forgotten lights so let's check it out okay so we're down here at the forgotten lights now this is like a little dance club so let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have some places to sit down there's a bar going over this way you have your bathrooms on the left and then on the right you just have some stairs so let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so when you go upstairs you have like a little balcony space where you can come and sit down and then over here on this side you just have a photo booth and now let's go upstairs again so when you go upstairs again you have a pool table some bubble blowing machines you also have some places to sit down and you do kind of have access to this little balcony here where you can have your sim stand on but that's pretty much it for this lot though all right y'all so now we're gonna go over here to Juan's Memorial Junkyard. So let's check it out. Okay, y'all, so we're down here at Juan's Memorial Junkyard. So down here, you have a pond where your Sims can fish. You have some scrap your Sims can come and dig through. And there is like a building right here. So let's try to open this up real quick. On the inside, you have a desk. There is an inventing table. There's also a sculpting station. And then you have your bathrooms over here. And there's also like a little food truck over here too. So you can have your Sims come here and get some food. But that's pretty much it for this lot. Now it is right next door to this lot. This is the Vampire's Eye. I think it's like a little lounge. Let me see what it says from the map. Yeah, it's like a little lounge. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Okay, y'all. So when you come in, you have your bar over here. You have a little stage over here with some instruments on it. Over here, you have a big dance floor with some places to sit down. And then over here, this way, you have some bathrooms. Now, y'all, I was trying to turn the lights on, but I can't, like, click it for whatever reason, so... It's kind of dark in here. I apologize. But now let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. So there's really nothing up here in this room, but let's go upstairs again. So when you go upstairs to the very top of the lot, you have like a little private room that has a karaoke machine. It has like a little fish tank display. It also has a little magical mirror. It also has a shuffleboard and just some places to sit down. And I think that's pretty much it for the lot. Now in the back of the lot, it does have some scrap out here as well. It also has a llama teleporter box. And then it also has some dumpsters out here as well. But that's pretty much it for this lot okay so now let's go over here to the night and day so let's check this out so we're down here at the night and day let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have a photo booth some arcade cabinets over here you have some places to sit down some foosballs tables there's also a bathroom over here on this side out here in the back you have a bubble blowing machine you also have a bar there's also a hot tub in the middle you have some different effect lights and stuff like that out here as well and let's go ahead and go back into the building for a second. And then over here, you have a room with some instruments on a platform. You have a dance floor. There's a stereo. And then you also have some places to sit down over here as well. And let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. Okay, so I want to go back this way for a second. And I want to check out the Stayed Traveler. So let's check this out. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the Stayed Traveler. Let's go ahead and open up this lot real quick. When you scroll all the way down, you just have some bathrooms in here. When you scroll up, you have a karaoke machine. There's also like a VIP access kind of room. So over here, you have a dance floor, a bar, a place to sit, some instruments on a platform. And let me scroll upstairs again. So when you go upstairs at the top, you have foosballs tables. There's also a bubble blowing machine as well. And that's pretty much it for up here. And then in the back, you just have the broom riding arena. Okay, so now I wanna go over here for a second and I wanna check out the Oasis. So this is a resort. Okay, so we're down here at the Oasis. Let's go ahead and open it up real quick. So all the way down here at the bottom, you have your buffet room with some tables where you can come and sit down. This looks really nice. Going over this way, you have your little check-in desk, places to sit down. You have a little sectional over here as well. And let's scroll upstairs for a second. So up here, you just have a place to sit. There are some elevators. 
So let's go upstairs again. So up here at the top, you have some rooms. So over here, you have like a bed, place to sit. There's also like a dresser and it has its own ensuite. And then going over this way in the middle, you just have a table. And then over here, you have another bedroom as well. Let's scroll upstairs again. So when you go upstairs again, you have a little workout area and you also have some bathrooms over here too. Okay, so now let's check out the back of the lot. This is really nice. You have like a place where you can have your Sims come and get married. You also have like a nice view of this pond going over this way you have a place where your sims can come and lounge over here you have some golfing objects and going back this way you have your rabbit hole rooms where you can have your sims go to sleep and then there's even like a little food concession stand out here as well oh and then you also have like a swimming pool over here with a poolside bar also like a little place to sit out here as well okay so now let's go ahead and go back this way and now we're going to go ahead and go to the mayfield springs nectary so let's check it out. So we're down here at the Mayfield Springs Nectary. This looks really fancy and nice. Let's open it up real quick. So on the inside, ooh, let's see. So over here, you have a little kitchen area. That's really nice. Going over here, you have your Nectary register. There's a bathroom in the back. You have a little place to sit down over here. You have a table. You have some Nectar racks over here as well. A fireplace, a little stereo. That's plenty of Nectar racks actually. <laughs> and now let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, you just have some inaccessible rooms. So that's pretty much it for the lot, I think. Let me try to scroll all the way down at the bottom. So there's nothing down here. Oh, wait, there's something over here, though. Hold on. Let's scroll to all the way down. Oh, so you have like a room where you can come and make nectar if you want to. Oh, OK, that's pretty cool, though. I like that. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and go over here to the Liberty Park. So we're down here at Liberty Park. So you have a pond out here where you can have your Sims come and fish. You also have some park benches over here as well. And then going over this way, you have a grill and two picnic tables. There's also like a hitching post too. All right, y'all. So now let's go ahead and keep moving on. So we're going to go back this way and we're going to check out the Mayfield's Opera House. So let's check this out. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the Mayfield Opera House. This is like a really nice lot. Like, look at those trees, the building, the, like the landscaping. This is really nice. Let's go ahead and open it up, though. So down here at the bottom, you just have a fountain. Going over here, you have like the opera room. So you have places to sit down. You have some instruments over here on the platform. Going over this way, you have like a little, is this like a little like museum maybe or like a little exhibit area? So over here, you have some Egyptian artifacts and going back over this way, you have some artifacts from China. When you go upstairs, there are some pool tables. There's also some chess tables. You have some art as well on the walls over here. There's also a photo booth. And then when you scroll upstairs again, you have the bubble blowing machine, you have some bathrooms. And when you scroll upstairs again, you have a bar, some tables, and then you have another stage over here. I don't know what this one could be used for, maybe like SimFest or something like that, but you do have like another stage as well. And let me try to scroll upstairs again. So I think that was it for the lot. But yeah, y'all, this is like a really nice lot though. Like very well made. I really like it. So now we're going to go back this way and let's check out the Playa del Sol. So this is a beach. Let's check it out. So we're down here at the Playa del Sol. So you have some places where you can have your Sims come and lounge. You have your lifeguard stand. There's also like this A-framed building. So let's open it up. On the inside, there's just a bed, a sleeping bag, and then there's a bathroom. And then over here, you have the hot coals. You have the baton pass game there's also a chess table you have a soccer goal and a soccer ball and then going over this way there's another chess table and you have some grills and picnic tables as well and then of course you are out here on the beach so you can definitely have your sims come and do beach activities and now let's check out this lot so this is the bonsai garden lounge let's check it out okay so we're down here at the bonsai garden lounge let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have a bubble blowing machine you have a stereo a dance floor you have your bar Going over here, you have your bathrooms. You have a little place to sit over here as well. And then going back over this way, you have a karaoke machine on a platform. You have a DJ booth. There's even like a little TV behind the bar. That's kind of cool. And let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. So when you go upstairs, you have a shuffleboard object. You have some arcade games, arcade cabinets over here. You have like a little balcony area with a sectional. And then going over this way, you have a photo booth. And now let's go upstairs again. So when you go upstairs again, you have a hot tub. You have a little place to sit. You have some instruments on a platform. And then out here on the balcony, you just have a table. And then over here, you have a telescope. And let's see if there's anything else up here. No, so that was pretty much it for this lot. This is like a really nice lot though. So now let's go over here to the Rafe or Rife. Hopefully I pronounced that right, but let's check it out. Okay, so we're down here at the Rafe or the Rife. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but we're down here at this lounge and y'all, it is super nice and super modern on the outside. Let's go ahead and open it up. So on the inside, you have your bubble blowing machine. You have your bar. There's a dance floor, DJ booth, instruments over here. 
Going over this way, you have some bathrooms and you have like a little room where you can sit down and watch TV. Going over this way, you have some bathrooms over here and then you have like a little spinning object. And let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. When you go upstairs, you have some arcade cabinets. There is an arcade game. Over here, you have like a little buffet room with a karaoke machine. And then over here on this side, you have a pool table, some places to sit down. There's a stereo. And then you have like a little balcony out here. There's also like a balcony out here in the front, but there's really not much to do. And let me try to scroll upstairs again. So I think that's pretty much it for this lot though. Oh, look at this show. In the back, there's even like a hot tub. I didn't even see that. Okay, <laughs> well, let's go ahead and keep moving on. So let's go back this way for a second and we're gonna check out the Lonely Walker. So let's check this out real quick. Okay, so we're down here at the Lonely Walker. Let's go ahead and open it up. This is like a little hangout spot. So when you come in, you have some places to sit down. There's also some instruments over here on the platform. You have some tables. And then going back this way, you have a bathroom. There's also like a little vending machine in the corner. And then out here, there's really nothing on the deck space. So now let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, you have some places to sit. There's also a karaoke machine and you have some arcade games over here and over here. And then outside on the balcony, you just have places to sit down. There's also a telescope. And then over here, you just have a photo booth, some places to sit down, and then you have like a self-serving bar. So I think that's pretty much it for this lot though. This is like a really nice meetup spot though. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go back this way and we're gonna check out the Edgewood Park. So let's check this out. Okay, y'all, so we're down here at the Edgewood Park. It's like a little residential park area. So you have some seesaws, you have a art easel there's also a telescope and then you have like a little subway object but you could definitely add more stuff out here if you wanted to so now let's go over here to the garden of wisdom and knowledge so let's check this out so we're down here at the garden of wisdom and knowledge so down here you have the boards that your sims can break you have a pond you have some telescopes and some martial arts training post over here you have some grills and some picnic tables and then you have like a little gazebo so underneath it you just have some places to sit down and I think that's pretty much it for this lot though. Okay, so now let's go over here to this part of the world. So we've seen everything over here already, but we didn't see anything over here and over here. So let's check out this section next. So now we're gonna go over here to the in memorandum graveyard. So let's check it out. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the graveyard lot. So you have your mausoleum over here in the back. You have a pond and then you have plenty of graves out here. You also have plenty of space to add your own graves if you want to. So now let's go over here to this lot. So this is called the neon letters. So let's go ahead and open it up real quick. So when you come inside, you have a little place to sit down by the door. Going over this way, you have a bar. You have a jukebox over here. Going this way, you have some bowling lanes. You also have a bathroom. And then out here, you have a karaoke machine and some tables. And now let's go ahead and go upstairs though. So when you go upstairs, you have some pool tables, arcade cabinets. You have a room over here with the mechanical bull object. And you have a shuffleboard object, a vending machine, a photo booth. And then you have like a little balcony with a telescope. And I think that's pretty much it for this lot. Let me try to go upstairs again. So no, there's nothing else up here though. But this is like a really nice lot though. Now we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the Silver Plaza East. So let's check this out. So we're down here at the Silver Plaza East. So down here you just have a showtime stage and i think that's pretty much it for out here though you could definitely add stuff if you wanted to you do have some places to sit but that's pretty much it for this lot okay so now let's go ahead and check out the let there be fire department so we're down here at the fire department let's go ahead and open it up real quick so on the inside you have some fire trucks going over this way you have a little kitcheny area you have a bathroom Going over this way, you have another bathroom. You have a dartboard and a foosball table. There's also a little place to sit on the couch. And let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs over here, you have a little workout room with some treadmills, weight machines. There's also a stereo. And then you also have some bathrooms over here. And then over here, you just have a room where your Sims can come and sleep. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go over here to the Pure Perfection Salon and Tattoo. So we're down here at the Salon and Tattoo. So let's go ahead and open it up. So when you come in, you have like a little waiting room area with some wall speakers. Going over here, you have a room with a stylist station and some places to sit down. You have some bathrooms back over here. And then over here, you have like a little tattoo room where you can have your Sims come and get a tattoo. There's also like a little table in here as well. And let me just try to scroll up to see if there's anything up here. So no, there isn't. So it's just like a one story building. All right, so now let's go over here to the Train Yourself fitness center okay so we're down here at the train yourself fitness center this is a gym so let's open it up so when you come in you have a pool you also have some places to sit down going over this way you have your bathrooms and your showers 
And then when you scroll upstairs, you have your treadmills. There's also a stereo. And then you have some places to sit. There's also TVs in here too. You also have a pull-up bar. And then going over this way, you have your weight machines, a stereo, and then you have some more pull-up bars as well. But I think that's pretty much it for this lot. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the Cradle Kittens Paradise. So this is a cat jungle, so let's check it out. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the cat jungle and you have a pond over here with a little bridge going over this way. You have some pet houses, some food bowls. There's also a little pet toy box. Going over this way, you have like a little gazebo and underneath it, you have a chess table. Out here, you have a cat castle. There's also a fountain. You have some places to sit. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the Silver Plaza West. So let's check this out. Okay, so we're down here at the Silver Plaza West. So over here, I see a food truck. You have some places to sit down. There is a roller rink. And I think that's pretty much it for this area though. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go over here to a deer's heart. So this is a bar, let's check it out. So we're down here at a deer's heart. So this is a bar, let's go ahead and open it up. So down here at the bottom, you just have some bathrooms. When you scroll upstairs, you have a bar, you have a little place to sit with the TV. So over here on this side, you have a sectional, you have some instruments over here, and then there's also a karaoke machine. And then when you scroll upstairs again, at the very top, you just have some umbrella tables, a bar, and then you have like a place where your Sims can come and sit. But that's pretty much it for this lot. So now let's go ahead and go next door. So this is the Rubens Rubble and Rubbish. So let's go ahead and open up this lot real quick. So on the inside of this lot, oh, this is like a consignment store. So over here, you have a bunch of assorted items. So you have like chairs, end tables, lamps and stuff like that mannequins over here you have like a little place to sit down you have your bathrooms over here you have a mini fridge you also have like some room dividers there's a sculpture in here there's also a lava lamp and then of course you have your consignment registers over here as well but that's pretty much it for this lot and now let's go over here to the bubble up so this is a laundromat so let's go ahead and open this up so on the inside you have your washers and dryers you have some places to sit down you have some sinks over here you have some vending machines you also have a bathroom and then you have like a little place to sit over here and over here as well okay so now let's go ahead and go over here to the expression so let's check this out so we're down here at the expression so i see a couple of hot tubs i also see some places to lounge there's a pool down here you have your pool bar over here you have a regular bar with some places to sit down and then over here you have like a building so i think the bathrooms are just in here so on the inside yeah you just have your bathroom and that's pretty much it for this lot though. You have like a little bridge, but that's pretty much it for this lot though. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here to the Moody Tears. So this is a fishing spot. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the Moody Tears. This is just a little fishing spot. There's not much else out here though, but you could just have your Sims come and fish. Okay, so now let's go over here and we'll check out the Wild Horseman. So this is a bar. All right, y'all, so this is the Wild Horseman. This is a bar. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is like really nice, y'all. I really like it. <laughs> but when you come in, you have some tape you have a DJ booth. There's also a stage over here. Oh, this is nice. It's like a little Western themed. Ooh, I feel like I've never seen this one before. That's really nice. That's cool. <laughs> Going over this way though, you have a bar, some foosball tables. There's also a dance floor. You have some arcade cabinets, a dartboard, and then you also have a bathroom over here in the back. There's also like another bathroom over here. And then when you scroll upstairs, you have a mechanical bull object. You also have a shuffleboard object, a photo booth. There's also a karaoke machine over here as well. And then out here on the balcony, you have a fire pit. There's some tables, some instruments, and a telescope. And out here in the back of the lot, you have a bonfire. But I think that's pretty much it for this lot though. Okay, so now let's go over here to the equestrian training grounds. So let's just check this out real quick. Okay, so we're down here at the equestrian training grounds. So you have like a building right here. So let's check out this one first. So when you come inside, you have a bar, you have some tables over here, you also have some bathrooms. Oh, it also has like some showers on the inside too. And then over here, you have some stables for your horses. And then there is a ladder. So when you go upstairs, there's just some hay and a little place to sit. So there's nothing else up here. And then over here, of course, you have the training grounds. So you can have your horses come and race. You can have them come and jump. And then over here, you have some tables. There's even like this little overhang. So when you scroll down, you have a buffet table, you have a bar, and then you have some tables down here as well. Okay, so now let's go over here and we'll check out the Emerald Gardens. Okay, y'all, so we're down here at the Emerald Gardens. So this is a park. So down here, you have a pond, you have a bridge, 
There's also some picnic tables and grills. There's also some telescopes. Out over here, I think, is where the bathrooms are. So let me try to scroll down for a second. Yeah, so over here, you just have your bathrooms. And then over here, you have a Showtime stage. And then over here on this side, you just have a bonfire. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go over here for a second to the Vault of Iniquity. So let's check this out. So over here, you have your Vault of Iniquity and you just have some places to sit down. This is a rabbit hole from the Supernatural packs. So you can't go on the inside of it or anything like that. It's just a rabbit hole. All right, so... Now we're going to go over here and we're going to check out the Sunset Cove. So let's check this out. Okay, y'all. So we're down here at the Sunset Cove. This is a fishing spot. So you can have your Sims come and fish. Out here, though, you have like a little pier with some chess tables. There's also an art easel and there's also a telescope. But I think that's pretty much it for this lot though you could definitely add more stuff out here if you wanted to so now let's go over here and check out the sunshine paradise resort okay y'all so we're down here at the sunshine paradise resort so let's go ahead and open it up real quick let's check out this building first so over here you have your little front check-in desk you have your bathrooms over here and going over this way you just have a room so the room has its own ensuite and over here you have like another room and they also have TVs on the inside of them. And now let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. So when you go upstairs, you have your buffet room and you have some tables. You have like two buffet rooms actually with some tables on the inside of them. And then out here though, you have a pool with a poolside bar. You also have a hot tub, a, con a food concession stand. You also have some juice pong tables. And then you also have the hot coal object as well. That was the last community lot in the world. Now we're going to go ahead and check out some of the residential lots. We're not going to get around to see all of them, unfortunately, but I'll skip around a little bit just to give y'all a general idea of what they look like. So I'm going to start off by showing y'all the house that I placed Elliot down at first. So this is the house that I placed Elliot down at. Let's go ahead and open it up real quick. So on the inside, you have your kitchen, you have a little living room area, you have a desk, a stereo, you have a bathroom room you have your bedroom and that's pretty much it for this house though i kind of want to check out the one beside it just to see if it's anything different on the inside so on the inside of this house you have a living room there is your kitchen and your crib there's also a high chair a little potty you also have a bathroom and then you have a bedroom so this one is also one bedroom as well and what about like this one over here really quick? So on the inside of this one, you have your living room, a crib, a bedroom, your kitchen, a bathroom. This one is a similar layout, but it's a little bit different. And then in the back of this house, you have a swing set. Okay, so why don't we check out maybe this house over here next? Okay, so we're down here at this house. Let's go ahead and open up this one. So on the inside of this house, you have a desk, you have a kitchen, a living room area. There's some lounge chairs out here in the back. This house has a garden space and it also has like a little shed that has the alchemy station on the inside of it. But now let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. So on the upstairs, you have a bedroom here, a master bedroom. There's another bedroom over here as well. And then you have like a bathroom over here in this corner. But that's pretty much it for this house. All right. So now let's check out maybe like one of these big houses over here. So let's check out this one right here. All right. So we're down here at this big house. Let's go ahead and open it up. So on the inside of this house, you have a nursery. Over here, you have a living room area. You have a kitchen. Going back over this way, you have a bathroom, a little workspace area, and then you have like a laundry room. And there's also like a garage. But now let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, you have a bedroom over here with a little DJ booth. Going over this way, you have a bathroom in the middle. And then you have two bedrooms over here on this side. And then outside of the house, though, you have a trampoline. There's also a tree house as well. All right, so now let's go over here and maybe we'll check out one of these houses. So let's check out this one over here on the end. Okay, so we're down here at this really big house. Let's go ahead and open up this one. So this house has like a stable attached to it. That's really cool. I don't, you don't always see stuff like that. It also has like an inventing table on the inside. But over here though, you have your living room area. You have your kitchen over here in the back. You have your dining space. There's a bathroom. Over here, you have like a little home office -y space. And then when you scroll upstairs, you have a bedroom here. There's also like a little weight machine over here. And going back this way, you have a bedroom here, a bathroom, and then you have like a, a master bedroom over here with a keyboard on the inside of it. There's even like a little pond too. And you know what? I kind of want to check out the house that's beside it really quick just to see what this one looks like. So this one is like also really big, but let's go ahead and open up this one. So on the inside of this house, you have an office space, a bathroom going over this way. You have your kitchen and dining space. You have your living room area. You have like a little barn area with a stable. Then when you scroll upstairs, you have a bedroom here and here. Then you have like a bathroom in the middle with two more bedrooms on this side. There's even like a little balcony space over here. And then out in the back of the house, you have a pool. And then there's also like an object out here where the horses can jump jump over there's even like a little horse ball and a salt lick out here as well okay so now let's go over here to this side of the world maybe we'll check out one of these houseboats all right so we're down here at this houseboat let's go ahead and open it up it looks really modern on the outside on the inside you have a kitchen area 
you have a living room area. When you scroll upstairs, it's just a bedroom and a crib. And then you have like the little steering wheel. And we might as well check out this one too, since we're like right next door to it. And it's like right here. So we might as well just check it out. Ooh, I like the roof. So on the inside, you have your kitchen, you have a living room area, you have your steering wheel out here in the front. And then when you scroll upstairs, you just have a bedroom over here. So that's pretty much it for this one though. And I think we'll check out one more house. Maybe we'll check out this one right here. Okay, so we're down here at this house. I really like the color scheme on the outside, but on the inside, we have a living room area. You have a bathroom, you have a washing machine. You also have a kitchen area out here as well. There's a telescope. In the back of the house, there's a pond. You have a place to lounge, a pet house. There's a clothing line. And then when you scroll upstairs, you just have a bedroom over here. And then there's an RE easel out here on the balcony and you know what i kind of want to check out the one beside it this will be the last house we look at okay i just want to see this one too so let's go ahead and open up this one so on the inside of this house you have a garage living room area there's also a kitchen area a bathroom you have a computer desk over here out here in the back of the house you have like a little patio area where you can come and just chill and hang out and then let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have a bedroom over here and then you just have one over here as well but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video again this world is called mayfield springs i will leave a link down below if you want to check it out but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this one and please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me on twitch where i stream a lot more of the sims and i'll see you in the next video bye thanks for watching